Okay, I'm going to look at the hard mix blend mode. Here's a black and white photograph and I'm going to make a new layer and I'm going to fill that layer with 50% gray. Then I'm going to set the blend mode to actually I'm going to uh, add noise, noise, add noise and I have the noise cranked up to an extreme amount so that the noise pixels are all either black or white. Now I'm going to set the blend mode to hard mix. Notice very little happens in the main picture here. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blur those black and white pixels just a little bit so that they have some gray in them. Filter, blur, and I'm just going to hit, hit it with this uh, just a single blur. There it is. Now, um, if you want to see what it looks like, there you can see it's no longer black and white. It's got some gray in it. I'm going to hit it with one more blur. Now, um, it's a pretty good representation of what the photo looks like. So what we have is a random halftone. If you want to see a more traditional halftone, we can do that as well. Let me, instead of making it be a random noise with slight blur gray values in it, um, let me make it uh, edit fill with a pattern. And let's make the pattern this checkerboard. Okay. Now, uh, it hard mix does virtually nothing again because it's black and white. But filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and that's a 2.5 pixel radius. You can see what the blur looks like here in this preview box. And um, if I blur it more, you can see that we can get a, a pretty good representation of a newspaper halftone just by varying the amounts of the blur until we get a kind of a, a halftone screen. So what blur, what, what hard mix does is it takes grays and it thresholds them. It forces them to either black or white based on what the underlying gray color is. Um, in fact, if you just fill this upper layer with middle gray itself, fill 50% gray, then you get a uh, thresholded image, which is the same as if you, in other words, this is 127 gray, so if we uh, take this image and we say threshold and we threshold it at 127 or 128 this is what it defaulted to uh, here in the threshold uh, that's the same as doing this see it's pixel for pixel identical and um, in fact um, if we get rid of that gray and we go back to the threshold or actually if we get rid of the threshold we go back to the gray and then we um, use a curve on that gray to brighten and darken the gray it's the same as using the threshold tool and um, changing the values there it's completely identical so that, in a nutshell, is what the hard mix blend mode is all about.